Eyewitness Sports right now. Rain, rain, go away. Good evening. I'm David Edelstein. One of the four American Legion New York District 5 playoff games this evening has been postponed. Utica and Love were scheduled to face each other at Murnane Field at 8 p.m. tonight. But take a look at this. Rain has left the field in unplayable condition. A view from outside the fences. But then we look at the field, the water on the base paths inside the field, in the grass, the dugout. It's just the rain was everywhere, not playable and not safe to play there either, it was deemed. The other three American Legion games are still on, though. Here's a look at those fields deemed to be in good playing condition. The games starting at 515, it's Adrian at Whitestown. Cheryl at Moran, New Hartford at Smith. Again, all those at 5.15 p.m. They're underway right now, and we'll have updates for you on those later as well. And check online. And the Blue Sox at Diamond Dogs game was originally scheduled for 6.45 p.m. tonight. That, too, has been postponed. The field there has also been a mess. The field's just not... They are holding the water, actually, just not getting rid of the water, the runoff. So the field's wet, the grass wet. See here, the base paths also just completely destroyed in a way and it was deemed that it would not be able to be played on. So I spoke with some of those Blue Sox players today who were at Murnane Field having a catch actually and they told me they originally planned to head out for the road game at 1.45 p.m. Then they received a text saying it was time to leave was pushed back to 3 p.m. and then they found out the game was postponed but they were still out there. So with a league leading seven players playing in the All-Star game just last night all the way in Socrates just south of Albany, those two players told me that the rain actually could have helped out the team. We all want to play, obviously, uh, but I mean, if the weather's not going to cooperate, there's nothing we can really do about that. I mean, the guys that got to travel to the All-Star game, obviously really talented individuals, and there wasn't a day off for them, too. So and they got back in late last night, so it is nice to allow them, you know, rest, sleep in, uh, and get ready for our big game tomorrow. With sloppy conditions, uh, no one wants to get hurt, and no one wants to have a sloppy game, so it just gives us another day to get in the gym and get some extra work in before we go play a big game. And them getting the chance to rest after getting in so late last night is uh, it's beneficial to them and beneficial to us. The game will be made up as part of a doubleheader on Monday, July 22nd. That's this coming Monday. And if you bought tickets to tonight's game, don't worry. According to the Diamond Dogs Twitter account, those tickets will be honored at the doubleheader on Monday. So that's all for sports on Eyewitness News at 6. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com and click on local sports for your top stories. I'll have more tonight on Eyewitness News first at 10 on WFXV and back here on Eyewitness News at 11. More Eyewitness News after the break. Stay friendly and stay tuned.